What's up Laravel developers and welcome back to the fourth video in this Laravel Jetstream mini series where we're going to add profile photos to users. Quick pause. I'm currently working on a new Udemy course where I will dive into Laravel databases and eloquent. If you think that there is a topic that should most definitely be included, feel free to drop it down below in the comment section. If you would be interested in the course or want to support the channel, make sure that you follow me on either Twitter, Instagram or YouTube to be the first one to find out when the course gets released. Using profile photos on dashboards or admin panels is a great way to identify a user by looking at the profile picture, rather than the username, especially when working with big teams. So let's make sure that we add the profile photo to every single user. We first need to make sure that we enable the feature inside the Jetstream configuration file. So let's navigate to PHPStorm, let's open the Jetstream configuration file, where you will see that the profile photos feature has been commented out. So let's uncomment it, let's navigate back to the browser, and once we refresh it, you will already see a change. You will see that our name has disappeared in the top right corner, and our profile photo has been added. Well, we don't really have a profile photo, and this is a shortcut name, so code with Dari will be CD. So what we could do right here is navigate to our profile management, where you will see that Laravel has added an option right here, where we could select a new photo. So let's do that. All right, let's click on save. And as you can see, a new button has been added because we have added our profile photo where we could remove our profile photo. Now let's have a look at how our image has been stored. Let's navigate back to PHPStorm. Let's open the public directory where I can already see that a storage link has been created or better to say a symbolic link. I do prefer this way over storing it regularly in the public directory. Files inside the public directory will obviously be public to the outside looking in. Adding it inside the storage will block the image. Now how does this work behind the scenes? Let me show that to you. Let's open our user model, where you will see that the functionality that we just have added is coming from the has profile photo trait right here, which has been added to the user model when installing Jetstream. Once we click through on our trait, you will see that this trait contains a couple important methods regarding the profile photo functionality. You will see that it ships with an update profile photo method to update the profile photo, where you could also see right here that it's using the storage that we just talked about to store the image. It ships with a delete profile photo method, which will delete the photo. It has a method to get the profile attributes, which is the get profile photo URL attributes. And it has a default profile photo URL, which basically generates a profile photo based on your name. Finally, it has a small method, which will set the disk. Now this was it for this tutorial where we dived into adding the profile photo functionality in Laravel Jetstream. In the next video, we're gonna have a look at enabling password confirmation for certain actions in Laravel Jetstream. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.